Stampers, Jackie Ball Hayes from Clump and Stampers. I'm back with part three of our Dear Doily series. Can you believe it's been three videos in a row with the stamp set? I have actually fallen so in love with the stamp set. It's just fun. And sometimes, you know, images, you know, I like flowers, I like trees, I like all that. But this one has just been really super fun to play with. And there's so many different things you can do with it. Now, if you miss part one and part two, make sure you go back and watch those because we started really simple. Part one, we just did some sip cards, stamps, ink, and paper. Then part two, we stepped it up a little bit. We added some ribbons, some embellishments, a punch, and just made some super fun cards. Now today in part three, we're really stepping it up and we're gonna use the coordinating dies. Now remember, this does come as a bundle in the Stamp It Up catalog. If you purchase the stamp set and the dies together, you save 10%. So if you like just the stamp set, it's awesome to stand on its own, but I think you're gonna really like the cards I share with you today where we're really stepping it up and using the dies. Now as always, my cards are simple. You know, sometimes we, we look at a card that has a lot of stuff on it and we think it's hard. These cards aren't any harder than those sip cards. They just require a little bit more time and a little bit more stuff. So before I flip the camera down, just a quick reminder, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Go over to my website. I've got a link you can click on there to join my newsletter. I send out weekly tutorials. And also if you need a catalog, there's a link you can click on over there also to request a free catalog from me. I'm here to answer your questions and to help you with all your stamping needs. And remember, stamping is simple, okay? So with that, let's flip the camera down and I wanna show you today's cards. Before we get into the cards that I'm making for part three, I wanna just review the other cards. These were the ones we made in part one. So if you missed it, remember, go back. And also today's blog post that goes along with today's video will have kind of a recap of where we started and show these cards again for you and, and take you to where you can get all the details. So these were the first cards. Now these were the sip cards, stamps, ink, and paper. That's all you really need to make some super cute cards. Now part two, we stepped it up and we made these cards. You notice we're using the same colors, pretty much the same layout. We just punched the greeting out on with a circle and popped it up with dimensionals, added some baker's twine, a little bit of embellishments and a little embossing. So those were the cards that went along with part two of the Dear Doily series. Well, let's take a look at our cards today. I've got a lot of information to share with you, um, but I actually have four different cards. Now, all of these really focus on using the dies. So we'll come back and I'll, I'll give you a whole bunch of details on all of these, but first, let's take a look at the dies. What I did is I cut them all out. You know, sometimes when you see the dies, you don't get a good visual. So I went ahead and I cut out all the different dies. Now, this one's kind of interesting because you can use just this part of it. And we'll pop back over here to this card. You can see here where it is just cut out of that white layer. It does not cut the outer edge of it to make this doily. You have to combine them with this one. So when you put the two together, this is what you get. If you don't use this outside piece, then it's going to just cut out of your, your cardstock. So then we've got the two smaller ones. I love this little ring. And then there's two that go with images that are in the stamp set. So you can stamp them and cut them out as well. And then a nice little border here. Now we're gonna make two cards. This is my two for one that we're gonna call it. And I'm gonna show you, it's just kind of a, a fun format of a card. Let's see, we don't need that one right now. We're gonna use Melon Mambo and Gorgeous Grape because that's kind of the whole color scheme we've been going with for all of these cards. And we're gonna start out by cutting the large doily out of the front of it. And we're gonna sandwich these, not sandwich, but I guess marry them up together here. And we're gonna center it, you know, the best you can eyeball it, kind of centered left to right, and then more up towards the top so we've got some room down towards the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to run this through the Big Shot, just like this. Now, with the Big Shot, the one little thing you wanna keep in mind, these are very detailed dies, so you're gonna want to use the, the precision plate for cutting them. This is how you get all those little pieces to come out. Now I have mine on my magnetic platform 
Now, magnetic platform isn't necessary probably on this one, but when you use your magnetic platform as opposed to the regular platform, you don't have to use that thin die adapter. So hopefully that's making sense. I have a whole video just on that. So if you have more questions, make sure to let me know and I can direct you to that video. So our sandwich is going to be the magnetic platform, the precision base plate. Now be really careful. This will snap down there and you know, put your fingers in there if you're not super careful. And then we'll put our cardstock and then we'll go ahead and do the two dies. Eyeball it left to right the best we can there. Put a cutting plate on top and then we'll go run this through the big shot. There we go. So let's just take that off and then we're going to grab that big shot brush. This is just that nice little tool that helps pop some of the stuff out way easier. So we pop that. Look at all the pieces fell. Get it started here and then I usually end up having to grab my paper piercing tool. If there's, you know, some that don't come out, you can, you know, brush them off a little bit more like so. Yeah, that got a whole bunch more out. And then you can go ahead and just take that piercing tool and pop out the rest of those pieces. There we go. And if any pieces stick in your die, sometimes that happens to um, this little, little tool is kind of a necessity. I use this thing all the time. Um, so let's pop all of those out. There we go. We're going to make just a big old mess here. Now we want to save this piece we cut out of. Okay, so you can see here how because we sandwiched these, it came completely out. But keep this and then we're going to grab a piece of gorgeous grape because again we're staying in the same color scheme and we're going to do the exact same thing that we just did with the melon mambo. Again, center it left to right up towards the top cutting plate and we'll run this one through the big shot. Okay, there we go. We've got our gorgeous grape and our melon mambo. Like I said, we saved the parts we cut out of. Now the next step for our card here is we are going to take a piece of whisper white. Now, okay, our pieces of colored cardstock here are five by three and three quarters that I cut out of. Don't worry about remembering those measurements though because I will have everything on the blog post for you that gives you all the supplies I used as well as all of the measurements. Okay, so we are gluing that down to a piece of Whisper White cardstock. So the Whisper White then is gonna be a five and an eighth and three and seven eighths, I believe. Um, it's just an eighth bigger is how I kind of think of things. So we'll go ahead and we'll adhere the gorgeous grape down as well. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna take our doilies and we're gonna flip flop them. So this is a little bit trickier um, to glue this down. I like the, the liquid adhesive and I'm just putting very little. There you go. It doesn't take a lot of adhesive. And then we'll just spin that around and stick it right in that opening and adhere it down. And then we'll do the same thing with our Melon Mambo one. There we go. Now, look at that, we just reversed them. And then we're gonna add this, just, I like these bright colors with some crumb cake cardstock. So our card base is our normal five and a half by eight and a half. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this one on there. Okay, adhere it down. And then let's swap another crumb cake. You know, I said at the beginning, this is our two for one. So we cut everything out. We're making two cards that are identical, but opposite, I guess would be the way to describe it. We'll go ahead and stick that one down on there like so. And now I'm just gonna bring in the two cards that I finished off for you. Um, these I did with our, forget how to say it, sea foam, soft sea foam, and so saffron colors. So I did the exact same thing. Now, I don't know if you can see, I did run this piece after I cut it out, because I didn't want the doily to have the texture, but after I cut it out, when it still had that hole in there, I ran it through with a subtles embossing folder. I didn't do that on this one, so you can see, you know, you don't have to, but I think it adds some texture to it. And I simply did our greeting, punched it out with a circle, just like I did in the part two cards, added a little bow on there, and look at how simple that was. You know, like I said, it's not any harder to make cards with a little bit more stuff on it. It just takes a little bit more time. So we just finished these off with a little bit of stamping on the inside like so. So 
I will go ahead and I'll finish these up off camera. You'll see the finished ones on the video or on the blog post, but that's how we make those cards. And then I just have two other ones to share a few more details with. This one we looked at earlier, how we just cut out this piece. So it's got that cut out of that layer. And then here is that circle piece, which I think is just gorgeous. And it just barely will glue onto that two and a quarter inch circle. And then we pop that up with dimensionals, did our greeting punch or cut it out with a die that's a banner. If you don't have one of those, you could simply cut that by hand. And again, we stamp the inside. And then this one just had a lot of putzing. Um, again, not hard, just a lot of putzing. We've got our Subtles embossing folder here. That is truly my go-to one. Here's our doily. I did the smaller doilies here and I layered them onto a circle just so I would get the lighter, the Highland Heather showing through them. There's our greeting, our same bow that we did in part two and embossed again and finished it off. So there are the cards for our video, our part three video of Dear Doily. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed this three-part series. We've got the stamp set, we've got the dies, we kind of built on it because there's just so much you can do with a stamp set and um, die combination like this. As always, if you have questions, I'm here to help you. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I just know you will enjoy the stamp set and dies. If you would like to order it, make sure you hop on over to my website. Don't forget to check out my rewards card so I can send you free products. And again, I'm here to help you in any way that I can. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.